Hello, this is the Radio Geek. Today I thought we'd uh, take a look at what's inside of this WeatherX radio. You may have remembered that I uh, did a short video on this. Uh, it was the model WR182R. So I thought we'd see what's inside and what makes this tick. So I'll be back and we'll do that. All you have to do is go look at the records. They're all over the place. But they checked my financials. They checked my financials. They checked my financials. And what's the most common, best financial problem in the history of the country? I think I run where they introduced my personal people. President of the United States says it's enough. He doesn't want his people to go talk. <laughs> okay. Enough of that. Um, anyway. What's inside of this thing? Well, let's start off by taking a look at this speaker. That has got to be one of the thinnest speakers I think I've ever seen. And there's absolutely nothing to that thing. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite amazing. Um, on the board here, on this side, is where all the surface mount stuff is. There's actually... Uh, quite a lot of uh, components, surface mount components on here, all kinds of uh, resistors, capacitors, transistors, uh, peppered all throughout this side of the board. Um, we have three main ICs. Um, we have uh, the three that we have here. We have, the, um, I believe it was this one here. It's kind of hard to... Uh, read without magnification but I believe it's this one here um, is the uh, the AM FM radio chip itself which is the CD 2003 uh, GB and uh, this is the uh, little um, data sheet that I found online it um, Looks like this is a, a Chinese one. Not sure who makes it or what the uh, logo is on who makes it. This is just kind of a generic uh, um, data sheet, but it just basically shows you that it's an AM FM um, radio chip. And uh, this one here is the MC3361C, which is a low powered narrow. FM uh, chip this one here and this one probably is what they're using for the weather band um, the other one is a AM FM broadcast receiver and this one is a narrowband FM so I'm guessing that this would be maybe for your weather band um, uh, reception perhaps and then the little one here is an audio amplifier. This one uh, I'm sure is made by lots of different people or different copies and whatnot, but I did find this ST data sheet, which is the TDA 2822M, and it was just marked 2822 on the uh, IC itself. So I imagine these are probably older uh, chips that were, I don't know, maybe surplus or something that they used in their design. Um, on the other side of the board, let's see if I can get it to flip over. You still have quite a bit of stuff on this side, which is, I was really surprised at the amount of components that are inside this thing, really. Um, you've got your, your tuning capacitor and, uh, your local oscillator and your IF uh, uh, for the AM band and then you've got some for the FM band um, this antenna here lots of hot melt glue type stuff um, they put um, foam inside the uh, coils to keep them from from getting bent or changing position um, there's there's more over here um, they have, uh, from the Dynamo, 
this is this gray cable here going from the dynamo uh, going into a, a bunch of uh, diodes um, and there's some larger capacitors here there's like uh, some jacks on this side here for the charging of the cell phone and the internal battery um, lots of switches obviously on this thing for you know you got your flashlight switch and your band selector switch and um, things like that uh, and the battery switch to either it's rechargeable internal or the triple a batteries uh, I got the uh, flashlight here the uh, the battery uh, their in internal battery here is, is this which is um, uh, half of a uh, triple A and there it looks to be there's three of them um, in this uh, uh, I guess <laughs> battery pack for lack of a better word and I I don't know that it actually says what the current capability is printed on here or not I don't I see some writing but it just says um, this is like two two third triple a maybe or something maybe that's what it is maybe it's two thirds of a triple a not a half anyway um probably not a bu not a bunch of uh, capabilities there at all um yeah the uh okay i took that little supporting bracket off of the uh, battery here and it says that it's uh two third triple a 300 milliamp hour um 3.6 volts so 300 milliamp hour is not a lot so this thing probably won't last a whole lot but if you can figure out a way to get it to charge um, conveniently without wearing out your arm um, it might be useful you know the soldering quality and the amount of flux on the board and and the construction is is not very good um, it's it is a you know a more of an inexpensive um, radio so I guess this is the kind of uh, quality that you might expect I mean you can just look down in here I'll see if I can get the camera to get in there a little bit tighter without going all blurry on me here but you can see the the um, hot melt or whatever that is in there you got a lot of that packed in there on those backs of those connectors. Um, they've got uh, some more here supporting the uh, AM antenna. And uh, on this side, you can just kind of get a better look maybe at those ICs and the AM antenna wires and just kind of the general quality of things so anyway I, I just thought maybe it might be interesting to take a quick look inside and just kind of see what's uh, going on in here um, we've got the the dynamo here too but it's not really that much to see there but uh, it just kind of adds some weight to the radio I guess but um, yeah I just thought it might be interesting to take a peek on the inside and and see what uh, what's all going on there so hope you uh, enjoyed the little dissection and uh, until next time this is the radio geek